A few days ago, I was coming back from Finland and I was tired. It was one o'clock in the morning. We'd been traveling for nine hours and I was kind of still doing okay, managing myself until I got in the car to drive home. So as soon as I did, it was almost like a tranquilizer. I felt so exhausted and I was fighting to just stay awake and keep the car between the lines of the lane. So anyone who has kids will also know that when you take them and you put them in a car, then they go to sleep quite quickly in the back. So what is it about being in a car that makes us so tired? In this video, I'm going to talk about that and ways that you can fight it so that you can stay awake while driving and stay safe out there on the roads. If you don't know who I am, my name is Sermed and on this channel I share my health insights with you, hopefully so you can benefit from them. If that's something you want to hear, hit the subscribe button and you will get informed when I post a new video, uh, especially if you put the notifications to all. And I am also active on Instagram, so if you're curious about what I do in my day-to-day -day life uh, and that kind of thing, then go follow me there, I'll have the link down below. So, it has been really the interest of many researchers in recent years about why a car journey makes us so sleepy. One of the reasons for that is that more than one in 10 drivers have actually fallen asleep behind the wheel. And as you can imagine, that is very, very dangerous because if you're traveling at 70 miles an hour, the car literally goes about 100 feet per second so you have to really be quite careful um, on you know when you fall asleep even if it's for a split second so there have been a few theories suggested it could be the white noise of the car that actually kind of has that rhythmic humming which is almost like a lullaby that sends us to sleep or it's the repetitive boring motion of driving, focusing on the road, the fact that it's an automatic process. Um, there is also the people are sleep deprived when they drive and so that puts them to sleep. Um, but all of these series have been researched and it seems as though they don't fully explain the picture. There was a research study which had two people, one in an environment with white noise and one without both driving uh, in, a, in a simulator and actually there was no significant difference in sleepiness between the two. So it really was a black box until recently in 2018 when Zhang and his team of colleagues uh, actually tested the effect of vibration on sleepiness while driving and they found that a vibration between 4 and 7 hertz actually induces sleepiness in less than 30 minutes and causes the body to fight to stay awake so it actually ramps up your heart rate ramps up your alertness to try and compensate for the sleepiness as a result of that vibration that you feel inside the car so that is it it's the vibration we can't really do much to stop that I mean, aside from getting cars with better suspension or that kind of thing, even Teslas do vibrate. Um, so what we can do to actually stay awake during the wheel is a few different things. Um, kind of, so keep the environment cold will keep us more alert is number one. Put some music on, number two. If you are feeling too tired, you can stop off on the side of the road for a nap. Um, even if it's just for a 20 or 30 minute power nap. Um, the fourth thing is really don't like eat any heavy meals before you're driving um, as that can really um, you know make you even more sleepy by uh, kind of redirecting the blood flow to your gut rather than to your brain. Um, and number five is you can have some chewing gum as well um, and that keeps your jaw muscles engaged, keeps you more alert. Now you might ask the question, why is it that vibrations cause you to fall asleep? I mean, 
you know, what, what do they have to do with each other? And it would be a very good question. Actually, we still don't know the true answer to that. But the research who actually published the study suggested that it could be to do with synchronization of the brain waves, which when we sleep, our brain becomes more synchronized. Um, and so this induces um, kind of the first level of sleep inside our body. So it changes the way the electric signals are traveling through the brain. Now, I hope that has been a useful video for you, just a short and sweet one uh, today, and I will be seeing you in next week. If you enjoyed this one, you may enjoy some of my other content, which I will post over here. I actually made a video about the difference between a PCR test and a lateral flow earlier. And if you do have any questions, please put them in the comment section below and I will be more than happy to address them. I'm always watching and I answer your questions and suggestions whenever they're asked. Stay healthy, stay happy, happy new year for 2022, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.